To the gentleman from uh, Tennessee, Dr. Desjardins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, uh, Mr. George, I do appreciate uh, you being here uh, and your colleagues. Um, you've been doing this for about a decade. Have you ever been involved in a case quite like this? Uh, this is the most unprecedented example I have ever experienced, not only as a, an inspector general, but as a former member of this very committee staff for almost 25 years and being a former White House staffer. I've, not, I've never experienced anything like this, sir. What type of things have made it more challenging than usual? The fact that people are trying to misinterpret the findings of career employees who, over the course of the existence of our organization, have uh, un uncovered billions and billions of dollars that the IRS has misspent or could be spent in more efficient and effective ways, and then a variety of policy changes that the IRS has agreed to in terms of making changes to better serve the American people. And to have our reputation of, again, of career people, I, I'm, you know, a, a political appointee, I expect this heat. I mean, even though I don't think I deserve it in this instance, I expect it. My career people neither deserve it, nor should they have to expect it. And, and, I'm, and it is troubling, sir. Yeah, well, certainly we could sense the frustration from our earlier witnesses, uh, Ms. Hoffaker and Mr. Hall, that uh, you know, it, it was apparent that they were willing to come here, openly testify. They didn't have anything to hide. They were doing their jobs, but yet somebody higher up the food chain chose, as Ms. Hoffaker said, to invoke a nuclear strike, and they felt essentially thrown under the bus. Uh, do you have any sense as to why uh, somebody would either want to cover something up or, or blame somebody that clearly we've proven, I think, through testimony, we're not responsible? You know, I don't have f facts that I could to provide to, to, to justify that, sir, but it's, it's just troubling that it's happening. Well, you know, we're, I guess I hate to say we're almost getting used to that here, but after a hearing on Benghazi and, and listening to reports come out about how this pesky YouTube video was responsible for the death of the Americans and that story was propagated for three weeks, and then we hear uh, Mr. Carney and uh, other folks higher up in the IRS blaming it on these two rogue agents in Cincinnati, you, you might think that they want to change their storyteller because, you know, we've proven both of those are not the case. Uh, you know, I think American people are getting very frustrated, and I know that they're uh, extremely anxious to hear uh, what we find and, and where this goes. What would, what would make your job easier? What continues to, to make this so difficult besides being personally attacked by members of this committee? Um, and again, I have to preface my response by saying tax policy was uh, uh, decisions uh, that the department enunciates is within the scope of the Assistant Secretary for Tax Policy, and it has been that way since the Nixon administration. But it is extremely, and I indicated this earlier in a response to a question, when uh, a provision of law prevents me from telling you and others information that I have that I know would help clarify um, the matter, but under you know the, the potential of violating federal law, I'm unable to do so. So I, I'll have to leave it at that. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth Hofaker testified that she could not process Tea Party applications pending in Cincinnati because she was waiting on guidance from Carter Hall in Washington. Mr. Hall testified that he could not provide Ms. Hofaker with guidance because he was waiting for direction from senior Irish leadership, including Chief Counsel's office. Uh, is that consistent with the findings of your audit? Yes, sir. And uh, I'm assuming that Chief Counsel will be questioned more thoroughly in the future? We did not interview chief counsel as part of the audit, I will say. They were in our timeline as being consulted and one of the reasons perhaps for the delays, but we did not interview any from chief counsel's office as part of the audit. Okay. Uh, are there plans to uh, interview people from chief counsel or uh, chief counsel? Again, as I indicated earlier, sir, we're working both with the Department of Justice as well as the FBI as a component of that on, on a continuing review of this matter and I, I'm not at liberty to go into Okay. Well, you know, people seem to feign outrage that uh, the Republicans are just on this witch hunt trying to implicate the White House. Fact is, there was an election year. There were groups that uh, had different political views than this president, and there was a political appointee who has been implicated in, in these cases that have been sent up the food chain. So, you know, I, I think it's only fair that we continue to look and dig because, uh, 
you know, this happened about 40 years ago in our history, not this exact same thing, but I don't think it's that outrageous considering the fact that people are trying to put out misleading stories if there's nothing more to see. And there wouldn't be agents, or there wouldn't be employees claiming the fifth or, or asking for the fifth when they come to testify. So at anyways, thank you for your work. I'm out of time, and I'm, I'm sure there's more to come. Thank you, sir. Tell me.